all right let's look at spot trading spot trading on spot trading today we are going to be looking at limit orders and market orders now i have explained this interface in my previous video if you didn't watch that i'll drop the link below this video so you can do well to go through that uh we're looking at bnb um slash usdt and here whenever we have two pairs like this we are using one to buy one here in this case we are using uh the second pair to buy the first pair but when we are selling we are selling the first pair to get the second pair uh so in this case we are buying bnb using usdt but if we are to sell if we are to sell we are selling bnb so if we are buying we are buying bnb using usdt and uh, if we are selling uh if we are selling we are selling uh, bnb to get usdt and a uh, few things on this interface which i've explained before or uh, we have the 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 pairs bnb against usdt we have the candlesticks representation we have this is where we can uh, set certain features on how the interface looks like we have limit order market stop loss stop limit rather and uh, oce and uh, i'll be explaining limit and market today okay and if your interface doesn't look like this click on these three dots uh, i showed us earlier for preference and uh, when i come there <clears throat> you can click on left and you can see uh, there is a change or you can choose a uh, right you can also see that there is a change but I prefer using a uh, horizontal layout uh, this is, is, is preferable for me and uh, and that is that so on limits what we normally do on limit is if we are buying the lows we are seeing okay i want to buy at this price now let's assume uh, i want to buy bnb at 500 dollars now i can't just hold my phone or my laptop or whatever device i'm using and wait for 500 dollars to enter an order so the easiest thing to do is to use a limit order a limit order is where you you, you create a a form of or a sort of command that you want the market to execute now you're putting a price that you want to buy or sell at now once the market gets to that price automatically it is uh it is executed automatically once it gets to that price and uh, for the limit order just very simple i want to buy bnb uh let's say at uh, at the price here i put 500 dollars amount is the amount of my balance i want to use available balance here you can see available balance is a uh, is a uh, 14 usdt so i can decide to use a uh, part of it which is 50 percent that's seven dollars or this 14.5 everything to buy and uh, if I click on buy BNB, the order has been created. Limit buy BNB amount I am buying is 0 0.29. That's the amount I'm buying at that price. At that price, okay. And then we have zero percent. Now once BNB falls to five hundred dollars, the order is activated, and now I can choose to cancel this order. I can choose to leave it and wait for that uh, particular place and in the same way when i want to sell all i need to do is normally we sell highs and buy lows so now i'm putting a buy for a low let's assume i want to sell a high and uh, let's have been holding bnb since bnb was five um sorry hundred dollars so all i need to do is to come to my limit instead of market i come to my limit and i say sell bnb for me at uh, 600 dollars and amount i am choosing the amount i don't have anything here but 
Mm, let's say I want to sell all the BNB I have as of that moment. Let's say uh, I have um one BNB uh six hundred dollars. So I want to sell everything I have at that price. What's going to happen is the order will be created the moment the market reaches rises up to six hundred dollars is at five eighty one now. It's going to be an automatic sell. I don't have to be there to watch it. That's just all limit all that does. And now for market, in market you are saying buy at the price I am seeing. So I'm going to cancel this order. You can always cancel your order. I just cancel the order. Market is saying buy whatever price they are selling. Just buy. You don't have to wait. So the market buys at any price. Now if I'm buying this, now I want you to observe two things here. Is the available balance here i have 14 usdt and 000 bnb now if i am buying i want to enter this market because i know that okay let's say bnb is going to get to 100 dollars i mean 1000 dollars so i want to buy market i'm entering at this market price not minding you know uh, if it's going to fall or rise all i need to do is to buy i click buy bnb in market it buys immediately and you see I have available balance on the sell side is 0.024 in the same way if I want to sell this whether with profit or not I just click on sell 100% and it is selling at the price that the market is on but let's assume I want to sell limits I want to sell high like I said and the total I have here is $14 you can see that uh, uh this place here the price section here shows you enables you to pick the price you want to sell or buy at the amount is the amount you're buying of that particular coin or the amount you're selling this percentage is the fraction of the balance you have you want you are willing to sell or buy and the total you're getting when you either buy or sell and uh let's say we have 14 dollars now Assuming I want to sell at $600, I'm having 14.4. Now, let's say I want to sell at $1,000. Now, Binance calculates your profit for you. Now, it's at $14, right? Now, you see that when I change it to, uh, when I change it to sell at once BNB clocks or hits at $1,000, I'm going to be getting $24 as profit so but uh if i do that this order is going to be saved here and it's going to wait uh, i don't know when that is going to happen anyway but that is just it on limit you're saying when it gets to this price when it gets to this price sell or buy for me but in market you're saying enter the market not minding what it takes now most of us have sent usdt to our wallets and don't know what to do with it and we still buy other coins now you know how to use your usdt or your bnb to buy any coin at all all you need to do is to check for the pairs that have bnb or usdt either coin you're holding now if the coin you're holding let's assume you're holding mana or or dash for instance and you cannot swap it with the coin you're looking for let's say there's no pair like dash btc which of course there is uh, you need to first of all convert your coins to a stable coin which is U USDT I think every pair trades USDT so when you convert it USDT you now use it to buy whatever you want to buy and uh, most times when you're taking your profit which means if you're holding Tron now for instance and you see that Tron is going to drop TRX is going to drop the easiest thing you can do is to sell it to USDT, not BTC. You can say to BTC, and as Tron is dropping, BTC is dropping. So you say to USDT and hold in a stable coin till the market is okay for you, and then you can use the same technique, either limit or market, to buy and get into the market. Always endeavor, always try to buy the lows and sell the highs. And I think. Uh, that is it and before you buy or sell in as much as you're using whatever you're using your own analysis or you're using signals please always make your own research 
always make your own research here is where you can see what the market is doing uh these are uh, this is candlestick is a one minute um okay my my network is all right we're back so this is a, a one day chart and you can see what bmb is doing it's made like a triple top here a double top we test broke the neck came back we tested and tested this top again with the it's no cooperation to go beyond six six nine uh, there's no cooperation to go beyond that point so the market keeps uh dropping probably if it hits the fourth time it is going to uh go ahead of that who knows so i uh, i think that is that briefly explained and uh, i i was fast i was trying to avoid making this video too too um too lengthy but i think i said everything so please if this video was helpful do well to uh comment subscribe and like this video and also share with your friends or uh, whoever is uh, learning okay i think that is that on limit and uh, market so i'll be making another video on stop limit and oco so thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe.